Hi, I'm functioning nutritionist Vince Pitstick, and this is MMU Education. All right, our ketogenic diet's a superior dieting system for women. We look to explore that in this video. So ketogenic diets, right? So let me back up. Ketogenic diets are essentially founded on the concept of your body burning ketones instead of sugar uh, in a dietary restricted environment, at least in this study that we're about to review. Ketogenic diets are about eating high fat foods, relatively lower protein, at least at first, and are low carbohydrate. Typically, the, the number people like to use in the carbohydrates is do not get them above uh, 30 grams of carbs or net grams of carbs, meaning that if I ate 60 grams of carbs and had 30 grams of fiber, then I take the 60 total carbs minus the 30 fiber and I end up with 30 net carbs. Now, for everyone, this is a little bit different. Uh, I think that's important to understand, but ketogenic diets get a lot of flack, particularly in the fitness world, um, whether in also the carnivore world, um, sports world. Uh, a lot focused around this concept of protein and how important protein is in the dieting phase. There's many reasons people use protein as their main macro for dieting. Many argue that it's a net negative energy macro, meaning that it takes more energy to break it down and use it as, as energy rather than what you get out of it. And so, and then other people say it helps sustain muscle better, uh, that you can build more muscle even in a diet phase, it'll hold more muscle. Um, and so a lot of people in the fitness industry, bodybuilding industry or standard nutrition industry, they stay the heck away from ketogenic diets. And I would say that in my 18 years of experience, that's a big mistake. But it doesn't mean it's the be all end all for everyone. So let's just look at some data and break this down further. So take a look at this research here in the Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism. What it did is it took females. I love this because females are more likely um, to experience muscle wasting in dieting phases than men. But this research looked at women who hadn't been training and hadn't been low calorie dieting. Um, and it took them through uh, two different kinds of diets. So it gave the uh, ketogenic diet and it got the protein uh, is only 20% of total calories. That's important because you want to get your protein down early on in a ketogenic diet to try to promote ketosis. Otherwise, even in low calorie environments, your body will still run on sugar, converting protein into your sugar. And then it took a, another group and did just low calorie dieting um, where you had proteins, carbs, and fats. The protein in both groups relatively stayed the same, um, but in one group, they used the keto high fat and the other, they just blended uh, the macros across the board. Now, they had both of these uh, groups of females training twice a week. I think that's particularly important. And then it tracked them for 10 weeks and then it showed the data. I think what you're gonna find in the data, um, both groups had weight loss. Um, both groups actually had a little bit of muscle gain. There, there really wasn't any muscle loss. And I think that's important. That's the first thing I wanna highlight. Ketogenic diets in a dieting phase do not necessarily lose muscle as long as the training and the calories are proportionate. If your calories get way too low, and if you overtrain on a ketogenic diet, I think you're more likely to muscle waste than in other diets. That's true, particularly when the protein's low. That being said, in this 10 week uh, environment, um, we actually didn't see that at all. Uh, when you look further at the data though, I'd like to point some things out to you. If you look at the ketogenic diet, people actually had a greater amount of fat loss and weight loss. However, the range of success was dramatically different. So if you look at the two groups, for the people that did a ketogenic diet, the degree of variability was greater. Some people lost up to 5.2 pounds. Some people lost up to you know, multiple pounds of body fat in this 10 weeks. Um, but if you look at the degree of variance, it's much greater in the ketogenic diet. So what does that tell us a little bit? Uh, balanced diets that have lower uh, calories, um, have less variability to them, meaning that more people generally have success, but they may not lose as much as would be in a ketogenic diet. And that's what this data is saying, is that people that did great on ketogenic diets did really great, lost way more fat, held all their muscle, even gained a little bit of muscle, right? 
and lost more weight, which is great. But the degree of variance shows that some women did not do well and some women gained a couple pounds in the same program. Uh, the research shows that almost everyone did the training. The thing that I can tell you after utilizing ketogenic diets as a medicinal tool, as a weight loss tool, I can tell you that it is exactly that, a tool. I do not use ketogenic diets on everyone. In fact, I speak every diet language for this reason, which is why my clinical evidence, I'm working over 35,000 people, matters in this case. Most people will tell you that ketogenic diets don't work for them or I lost too much muscle. And what I'll tell you is that it has everything to do with whether that individual got their protein down enough to make sure the ketones got high. So people that do ketogenic diets, if they tend to run, run higher blood sugar or when they stress out or work out, they release more blood sugars, they tend to release less ketones. Ketones are muscle protective. That's why in a low calorie diet environment, Ketogenic diets, in some cases, can be superior to high-protein diets because ketones protect muscle. However, if the person doesn't get into ketosis, so if you are using like a keto meter, uh, we would like to see people at least around 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.5 1 uh, in their ketones. And now, if you're at least getting 0.6 ketones, you're in ketosis, but the higher your ketones get uh, up to about 3.5, they are more muscle protective. But there are many women due to stress and metabolic reasons that their ketones don't get there. Also, the application. Some women need less protein to get them into ketosis first. So the reason you're seeing the discrepancy uh, in the values, even seeing better results for some and less results for others, has everything to do with that female's genetic makeup, how the ketogenic diet was applied to them. Many people do ketogenic diets wrong and the diet doesn't work for them and they say keto doesn't work. And it's because the way that it was applied, they did not actually get into ketosis. So with women, it's very important that you evaluate their ketones early and often through the process, right? And do not apply too much resistance training right as a body is getting into ketosis. That will lead to muscle wasting for sure. And that's where your high protein proponents can make a good argument because if you go into five or six days of, of training, your body's not fully in ketosis yet. You don't have the ketones to protect the muscle. You're in a calorically, you're in a caloric deficit that can lead to chaos. So I understand from that perspective, but if you're working with an expert that knows how to get someone into ketosis and work the different factors in order to get their body to achieve ketosis, it does look like that there is a greater success to be had for those willing to try keto diets, get over the hump into ketosis and we'll have greater results because of it. But ultimately what we find is that whether you want to go ketogenic diets or not, low protein diets as a fat loss strategy are not a bad idea as long as you have somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to 70 grams probably of protein uh, to maintain nitrogen balance inside the body. So Maybe ketogenic diets aren't the enemy we all thought they were. If you like this content and this material, please like and subscribe to our channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell to be alerted every time we drop another video. We can't do this without you. We appreciate your support.